Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be in the presence of a beautiful model, Shelly Smith. Shelly worked with us at the production at Brick uh, in Brooklyn. Yes. And yes. Uh, Shelly is a model. Uh, yes. Shelly, how difficult it is to become a model like you? How difficult it is to get those uh, paid assignments? It's very difficult, but with preservation, hard work, you know, timing and talent, it's definitely possible. What are the specific tips that you can share with the audience? Why you book those gigs? How, how they come to you? Is it because someone knows you or because of your looks? Or like what working? I think it's a combination of all those things. Uh, you know, knowing the people that can market your look, one. Mm -hmm. uh, two would be knowing your genre. Uh, three would be having time to able to, you know, go to castings and go sees. A uh, four would be basically just being available. Uh, five showing up. What's your checklist when you go for the casting? What do you bring with you? What's not? Like any extra pound, or, or if it's heavy to carry. So what, what's in your bag? What's in my well, my nine by twelve portfolio, uh, headshots, uh, extra chewing gum. Mm -hmm. uh, water and um, basically just business cards. Business cards, okay. Um, any particular things that in terms of makeup and hair, shoes, like anything else that needs to be with you? Or you, you carry that? A good pair of flats are good. Uh, for makeup, you know, Sephora's great, you know, uh, powder to, you know, clear the shine from your face. But just um, good old, you know, when you go to go see's and castings, mm -hmm. you know, faces, minimum, uh, minimum eyeliner, uh, minimum foundation. Okay. Uh, uh, right now we are in the middle of uh, fashion week. Yes. What's taking place? What do you like uh, specifically uh, right now? Well, specifically, I like to go to the different events. Since I'm a commercial print model, I'm not a high fashion model, as you know, since you support commercial print, you know, right. smaller women. So I only can go just to see the events and to network. But, you know, being with the high fashion girls actually helps us commercial print and all the models that's in fashion, besides just tall girls. I don't know if you've seen my uh, recent show, uh, but basically, right now, uh, you know, I do the glow in dark uh, uh, clothing. I haven't seen it uh, yet. You haven't seen haven't that. Seen it okay. Yet. But the new uh, deal that I'm producing now, it's a family uh, fashion. Mm. Uh, so th that's basically uh, when on the runway, usually it's just one model, maybe a model with the, with a daughter or something. Oh, like okay. That. But uh, the way my show is uh, shown now, it comes as a three or four generation. Oh. So the grandparents, the parents, the children, they all walk together. And it's combined together, so it's you have to do male, female, older folks, kids. So it ha it's not like everybody wears the same T-shirt or same scarf. It's more to like complement each other. So when they come for the Christmas party, everybody looks apart together as a, as a group, as a family. That's wonderful. Uh, That's why I love fashion because <laughs> fashion brings in family. You know, the mother, the so father, the, the children. Would, That's a the, wonderful. The height, the, the weight wouldn't matter here. It's more about the family, and you look uh, look uh, fashionable as a uh, whole family. I would like to see this. Okay. Everyone has to see this. I want to see this. So, uh, guys, uh, so now you're gonna see in the subtitles uh, and uh, a couple of uh, episodes from the show. Uh, okay, uh, how difficult it is nowadays to get in the fashion industry? In terms of height, how do you combat this? And uh, you, I know you do the only commercial, you're not um, doing the uh, uh, the agency type of uh, the traditional work. But is it changing the industry? So I think it's changing. I came from a small market. I'm originally from Washington D.C., born and raised in Washington, and so our market's a little different. It's a smaller market. So I actually do return to smaller markets, secondary markets. Proportions market. some matters. Like if you see the Miss Universe, she's uh, not that tall compared to all True. the other ones, and uh, she won. It's often. It's about the proper... Um, and that's glamour modeling, so I do very well in swimsuit. Mm -hmm. You are absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have more uh, questions, how to become a model and what uh, to do as a model. Uh, and uh, one more question I have yes. uh, from the photographers for you. Yes. When photographers are booking a model, is there any particular advice for the photographer? What to say, what to, uh, to do? Yeah, so the model will agree uh, to ship. Obviously, they can offer a lot of money, but uh, other than the just uh, plain cash, is there anything specific the filmmakers and photographers can say that the model will resent, uh, like not resent uh, or be interested in, in production? 
I, my advice would be if you say show up for you know a photo shoot or film just to be there and if you have to sign a waiver just make sure all the information no, look, my question let's say when I approach you uh, initially right what particularly I said and I did that you uh, respond and said yes oh. sometimes a freak rule like a pervert or some uh, crazy person would write how do you nail those crazy folks and not go for those issues and how do you look for the proper people that uh, you're comfortable working with surprisingly enough you work with some of my fashion model friends and a lot of my friends know you from social so media networking and i saw much. pictures of some of my friends that worked nice. with you uh -huh. and based on their working with you and we're all friends and i actually did ask someone about you before i worked with you okay. and so i would say Reference. it's based on references and networking okay. so i saw pictures of you with some other models Let's i worked with photographer I'm well established, I'm known, uh, Mr. Great, obviously, but uh, uh, some folks are not known you. What do, you, what do they do if they don't have those networks? Uh, so again, if a new photographer would approach me, I had many people approach me freelance and via through my agency, I research them, so I look at the pictures, I look at their references, if they work with an agency, I call mm -hmm. the agency, but I do a lot of research to make sure that they're legit, so I look at their website, I make sure that they say that they are who they say they are, so I would say do your research. You your research uh, let's say someone like me if you google me a uh, professional I'm investment banker so it's I this is something totally different from my day job uh, uh, most of my friends who are photographers who make a lot of money in the real uh, like in, in the like business world like uh, as a doctors lawyers photography for them it's a hobby it's something that uh, they do for fun right so they do not necessarily put up their name or portfolio that uh, could be uh, like directly linked to their name. Mm. What do you do next? Again, it's all via word of mouth. A lot of you know actors, a lot of actresses, models, we know of people like mm -hmm. that who actually have other full-time jobs, who know that on the side that they basically do photography, makeup, and so we so talk among, it's still, I, that's the key okay. word, so guys, everyone references. Have those, have those references. <laughs> references. Okay, difficult assignment. Move into a new city, you don't know anybody. New country, you off the boat right there. You're a great photographer. What do you say to a model like you to book you? References. Again, even if you <laughs> have a lot of country. References. So the new, new folks, to me, the way I, I would look into this, as a model, you can make a lot more money from someone who's brand new and who needs to build a portfolio. You can charge them versus someone who is established and have thousands of models looking uh, to be in uh, their sh shoot. So like, um, I think the market of the new photographers who have bad equipment or don't know what to do or don't have a portfolio, they are they still need uh, to build that portfolio and, uh, it's true i mean i went i lived in barcelona uh you know for a month two years ago and i, I when i went there I went for vacation and i contacted an agency they told me of a model who i met with and i ended up doing a photo shoot in barcelona and again it was for vacation but i wanted to shoot there and again it was all references i did the research called the agency met with I the see. girl and we hung out and it was great so again it's all about you know the references you know like you said guys reference, <laughs> reference, reference. Like, location 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 uh thank you for watching if you have more questions we'll be glad to answer next time hopefully you come again thank you i will and thank it's you nice so much to meet thank you. you and we will do the overhead <laughs> right. great thank you Cut. thank you